So hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Martin Bolter and over the coming weeks and months, I'm going to be putting content out there to do with AutoCAD 2020 and Inventor 2020. So I'm going to get straight on with this tutorial, it's all about motion constraints. I'm currently in my iPart file, you can see all my separate solids that we, when we um, put them in our assembly, we will then create our uh, motion constraints from there. So in our assembly file, I've already uh, brought them all in, um, I've got the little lightning bolt so I've got a quick update so I'll just click that. Um, but I've brought them in and I've already separated them all out into their individual components. So the first constraint I'm going to do is using the axis of this part uh, and I'm going to match it with the axis of this part. So I'm looking for that uh, green dash dot line. Um, when I've got the uh, two uh, constrained, I'm going to click apply um, and then I'll click cancel and you'll be able to move one up and down the other. So now I'm going to do a face constraint, so I'm going to, but I'm going to do it flush this time, which will bring the two to the together. Click apply and click cancel, and now they are permanently attached together. So I'm going to use the axis again of this part, and I'm going to match it with the axis of the tube. I'm going to click apply, click cancel, and I should be able to move that one now up and down inside the tube. So I'm now going to put the top and bottom cap on, so I'm going to again go for a constraint. This time I'm going to use an edge constraint. I'm just going to grab the edge of that one and I'm going to match it with the edge of the tube and I'll click apply and click cancel but I'll still be able to move it so I now need to do a face constraint and face the, fa the very face of this element here and match it with the face of the tube there. Click apply and click cancel and I should be, not be able to grab and move it now, I'll move the whole entire object. So I'm going to do the same on the bottom here, so I'm going to grab the edge just there um, and then I'm going to grab the edge that it matches to on the tube itself. So I'll just rotate around to have a better look. There we go, that one. So I'm going to click apply, left click to select it and then I'm going to click apply um, and um, I should be able to move that one as well so uh, I will cancel this and I'll grab it properly and I should be able to move it. So I now need to do another face constraint. So I'm going to constrain this face with the opposite face of the actual tube. It's hard to see because I've got mine set on transparent but it's just there. Click apply, click cancel and now uh, it won't move when I grab it. But if I grab the actual RAM itself, I can now move it in the axis, but it's got no stop. So I'm going to turn on my contact solver for the three parts that when they come into contact, I don't, I don't want them to go any further. So it's the top and the bottom cap and the uh, actual RAM itself or the RAM head itself. Once I've done that and I've turned them on, I'm going to go up to inspect and activate my contact solver. Once it's activated, when I actually grab this now, it won't go past the uh, point of which it's got the contact solver attached to. So now I need to create a relationship um, or another constraint, um, which is one the, the one that we're going to drive so we can see it move. So I'll hide or turn off the visibility of the main body of the tube, come over, select a plane, and I'm going to click and drag a plane out but I'm going to set it to zero. Once it's OK I'm now going to create another constraint. It's going to be a face constraint again of the top of the uh, ram or piston and this uh, plane that we've uh, just made. Click apply, click cancel and we'll turn on our visibility of our solid 2 or our tube. Uh, Mine set to transparent because I'm now going to click the relationship which is our last relationship I right click on it and drive it now I know that uh, start is 0 end is 100 mil uh, for me it might be different for you and I'm going to uh, 
re repeat it, start and start, and I'm going to do it 10 times, and then click OK or click play. And you can see that they're moving uh, opposite each other, so they're both moving. So uh, what I actually want to do is ground the outside tubes. So right click on that solid, hit the grounded button, and come back over to the mate. I can drive it again, click OK, and now it's just the actual ram and piston that actually moves. So that's the end of this tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more content to do with AutoCAD 2020 and Inventor 2020. If you've liked what you've uh, watched and it's worked for you, hit that like button and also add any comments for any future uh, content you want to see and I'll uh, try and put something together for you. Thank you very much for watching.